Put your uniform on and get on the court right now. But coach, I can't. Camilla, do you want to let the team down? OMG, it's horrible. The whole school is going to see me wearing this tight uniform. I'm Camilla. I'm 16. A couple of months ago, I had no breasts at all. I mean, I had, but it was tiny. I was very insecure about it because all the girls from my class have been wearing bras for a long time. But it was the reason girls began mocking me and calling me a flat one. Hit the like button if you've ever had to deal with bullying. I totally get you. I began to put cotton wools in my bras so my breasts would look more feminine. I noticed that the bigger a girl's breasts are, the more attention from boys she gets. Though I didn't care much about it, it was more important to me to just stand out from the others. But one day in the locker room before a volleyball practice, a girl accidentally pushed me, and the cotton fell out of my bra. <laughs> Did you rob a drugstore? Everyone began laughing, and I just ran into the bathroom in tears. I hated my small breasts and myself. Why was I so unlucky? When I got home, I decided I was going to have big breasts, no matter what it cost me. On the internet, I found an old classic method for breast growth. You just have to eat a lot of cabbage. I was beyond happy and began devouring cabbages by pounds. I was eating it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've been doing it for a few weeks, but I didn't achieve any results but a gag reflex from the sight of cabbage. Do you have any food that just disgusts you? Let me know in the comments. At that time, I was completely desperate. The only way out I saw was plastic surgery. But when I opened the clinic website and saw the prices, I decided to postpone it, especially since the surgery was performed only from the age of 18. I again burst into tears. It seemed to be my destiny to be the flat one. Then I accidentally discovered the advertising of some new pills, which allegedly made breasts growing. The website was very unreliable, but I had nothing to lose, so I ordered them. The pills came quickly, and I started taking them. It was my last hope, but I soon realized that they gave me no result either. I was sinking into a depression, but luckily the holidays had begun and I could rest from the mocking. One night, I woke up from a weird pain in the chest area. I went to the mirror and saw my breasts had become twice as bigger. At first, I was frightened, but then the fright was replaced by joy. Yes, the pills worked. I started taking them even more often, and by the end of the holidays, I had a B cup. I was on cloud nine when I went shopping for new bras. I felt like a real girl. When I got to school, the girls immediately noticed my changes. How many cotton wools did you stuff in this time? But after gym class in the school pool, they shut up right away. They couldn't understand where I got my breasts from. And I was glad to know that I was as good as anyone else. But it didn't last long. I already stopped taking the pills, but my breasts continued to grow at an unimaginable rate. Now the girls started calling me cow. They were constantly mooing in my presence and asking me for milk. This nickname hurt me even more than the last one. So I began to wear wide t-shirts and bandage my breast with elastic bandage, but my breast wouldn't stop growing. I went to the doctor hoping that he would stop the effects of the pills and would make my breast small again because it was so much easier to hide. These pills are just a placebo. Your breasts are naturally this size. It can't be. They got bigger right after the pills. It's just a coincidence. But I want my small breast back. There's nothing wrong with your breasts, but if you want to reduce them, I can suggest an operation. Even though the doctor tried to talk me out of it, I firmly decided that I would save my money as soon as I turned 18. I would have my breasts reduced. The next day, our team played against another school, and right in the warm-up, one of the girls twisted her leg. Without enough players, we wouldn't have been allowed to play. The coach ran up to me, gave me my uniform, and told me to change immediately. Are you sure? I'm really bad in the game. At least we'll have a chance. I had no choice. I ran out on the court and just burned with embarrassment. But suddenly, all the bleaches started chanting my name and whistling approvingly. Don't they think I'm ugly? This encouraged me, and I played a great game. Even though we lost, I became the player of the match. At that moment, I realized that the girls were just jealous of me, and all my insecurities were just in my head. After the game, I suddenly became the most popular girl in school. Guys were chasing me around and asking me out. I did not give anyone a chance, because I'm not a stupid girl, and I understand that they were interested not in me, but in my... you know. But to whom I did give a chance was the underwear brand, which signed an advertising contract with me. Never listen to what other people say, and accept yourself for who you are. And if you like this story, hit the like button, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.